this video, I will show you how to quickly get started with TC Menu by understanding its concepts, running the designer and generating code. The slides I'm using here can be downloaded from the TC Menu section of our website. We have a support forum that you can use if you're unsure of anything. Most questions on there are answered really quickly and the link is below this video. TC Menu Designer does its best to hide the complexity, but it's only appropriate for users with intermediate to advanced embedded development skills. TC Menu applications are built in layers. There are several libraries that make up the core. Then on top of that, we add plugins for your input and output devices. Finally, the menu structures are added to the project, and you can see that slightly offset on the right hand side below your application code. TC menu is tree based, meaning that a menu item can either be a leaf item or a sub menu item containing other children. Take a look at the structure in the diagram as this is how menus are stored. In this slide, we show the UWP version of the designer. The macOS version is extremely similar. I'll leave this screen up for a few seconds so you can familiarize yourself with the controls on the UI. Maybe pause the video here if you need more time to look at how each control works. Here we've already started the designer app. Let's start by dismissing the splash screen. We can see a red banner with items that require attention. I recommend you fix these first or it will not be possible to generate code properly. So let's open Preferences as directed. At this point, you need to enter a Sketches folder. For most Arduino users, this will be the Documents Arduino directory where you store your project work. This is absolutely required as it is the only way on the App Store that we can acquire the permissions from you to access the Arduino directory. Once you've entered the designer, we'll try and guess the libraries directory, which for most people will just be the libraries directory under Arduino. Let's go ahead and set that now. You can see we've guessed the libraries directory because in my case, it was standard. You can check the versions of libraries and plugins that you have installed. From the preferences menu, Go to library versions, you can see what versions of TC menu are available and what versions you've got installed. You can also um, see here down at the bottom that all your plugins are up to date. For nearly everyone, we recommend that you use a stable version. To install TC menu library and all its dependent libraries, we've added it to Arduino library manager. So the only thing you need to do is go to library manager from Arduino. Type TC menu into the box and select install. Just make sure you install all the dependent libraries as well when it asks. We are now going to build a very simple menu system that we will deploy to an UNO board using a DF robot shield. We will add new items using the plus button under the main menu tree for each of the items. For this case, we'll add an analog item representing percentages, two Boolean items and a settings submenu. After saving, we will then run the code generator. In the code generator, each image has a pictorial representation. Clicking on the image allows you to select that plugin. What you see here is a true live demo. There's no behind the scenes editing of it. Any compiler is that you see as we build it out are actually genuine and uh, fully representative of what happened during the session. I wanted to show you exactly how you build out a simple menu with TC menu without any 
any um, trickery or other uh, magic during the video editing process. You may have noticed at the top of the file that we use the Arduino analog device. This is a very useful class that um, provides very similar capabilities across a wide range of boards um, and we've set it all up behind the scenes so that you can use floating points between the 0 and 1 to either receive input um, from an analog input or uh, to set the output level which means you don't need to worry about the um, peculiarities of a board having a different number of bits. And lastly, here's the finished product running on an UNO.